everyone, it's Momo, and welcome back to another episode of Plaza vs. Zombies, and today we're going to be playing through four episodes today, I think. One, two, three, and up to level five. So yeah, anyway, let's just get started and do level one. So it's I don't really f feel like reading that, but basically, uh, plant food gives the ability, so that's its ability. It does a bunch of, uh, bunch of, uh, damage. Anyway, uh, and then, you know, knowing that it's always gonna drop plant food because it, like, is all green and electri electrical, electrical. So, yeah. So, as you can see right there, that's the, uh, so we can um, we can use it on the sunflower, and it's gonna give us a, a amount of what do you call it sun. So we can just keep planting. We can use another sunflower. I mean another ability. Actually, we should probably use it on that guy. So we'll take him out basically. I don't really need a second row of them, so I'm just gonna use one for now. So let's just plant another row. That should finish off the episode. I mean, just another row of uh, pea shooters should finish off the level. Okay, it looks like I'm gonna need to place a walnut down at the end here. Actually, just use a plant food that works too. All right. There we are, we have a new plant, cabbage bolt, basically shoots over top of grave tombstones. Um, uh, let me just check out uh, the quest log. Oh, unlock boomerang, we can play that. So basically it's the same thing as hitting the next level, but we can play here. All right, so Okay, so it's gonna have some coins, and then we can, um, can use a thousand to, uh, get another plant food. Basically, it's these right here, which are tombstones, I think they're called. But basically, they, uh, they, they, eat, the pea shooters can't shoot. They can't shoot through them, so if I play, pl planted a, a, uh, if I planted a pea shooter here, it wouldn't be able to hit a zombie over here. But that's pretty simple. So you could just use this guy. And he's the same, I think he does the same damage. And the same... I think it basically almost everything's the same. Maybe he does, shoots a little bit slower. He just does more damage per shot, maybe. But uh, other than that, he's basically the same as a pea shooter. So... And then, well, they're not hitting a zombie, they'll just attack the, uh, the tombstone, as you can see. So, yeah. You can pretty easily just do that. And... Get a couple of rows of them. them. And that should do the rest of the level, hopefully. Alright, well, it looks like uh, we're gonna need to use our ability, so we'll just put it on this, and it'll just shoot one to every zombie on the screen. There's another guy with that, so we'll do it again. And uh, FYI, if those guys with the sun thing, if they do end up picking up sun, you'll get it back when you kill them. So you can see here, he's gonna take it, right? He's gonna take the sun. I'll let them take the sun for a bit. Uh, oh, also, there's some uh, windstorm. Oh. Also that, let's uh, do another, anyway, um, you notice you get them back, right, so it's no big deal. We'll do, we'll just use a bunch, the rest of our, uh... so yeah, that was pretty simple. And there we are. Windworld keys coming up, quest complete. We get a, uh, 
we can access the tra travel log here. We're gonna get a a pinata, hundred coins, three pea shooter, um, like cards, I guess you could call it. So now we can go back to uh, main menu and we can go to here. Click on that, the almanac. We can upgrade the pea shooter. So that's pretty simple. You can also find more. But yeah. Upgrade the uh, walnut as well. Alright, now we can do this and it's striped, so it's like a um it's like a a game mode level I guess, like a um a, a mini game kind of thing. So Okay. Well I already was using that, but great. So this is a conveyor belt level, so it just gives the it gives you the plants on the conveyor belt, so you can't you don't like you can't plant them or anything. Uh, but basically this plant it shoots up to three targets, and yeah, so it goes three there. Oh, anyway, but it goes three there and then three back. I don't know its damage very well. I think it's, it does pretty good damage, considering it does almost cost twice as much as a a, um, a pea shooter. But it's good for uh, it's good for for the uh, uh, there. There's these zombies that kind of come in sets of three, and they. Uh, they hold tiles. They're basically the strength of a cone head. But anyway, um, we'll see if we see one. We might have. I, for, I checked to see what zombies were on this level. But anyway, we'll just uh, keep planting. So uh, maybe we should plant down a walnut. Anyway, we'll just uh, continue and wait for the level to be done. Oh, before their their ability is that they just kind of shoot. Them in a square pattern. Um, some more notes: the uh, walnut or uh, this, we can use that ability, and it basically just puts two other ones on the map, and it also uh, fully charges it. The walnut plant food ability makes it a metal casing, so it's harder to eat. And I think we've gone over all of them. There's no real point in doing it again. I actually find that the uh, this that ability is not so great. But oh, okay, so we have the powers. The powers. They're pretty. Um, they're pretty okay. Uh, basically, only if you need to um, like if you need to uh, power snow. Basically, that's how that works. Oops. Basically, uh, just it gives you a certain amount of time. Power toss. Basically, just ways to defeat the zombies by using gold. Um, you have to do it twice. And then the, the power zap. Basically, they just want us to uh, use all of the abilities to defeat a level, I guess. Uh, on the computer, it's actually kind of hard to use these guys. So I don't think I'll be, well it's not good to use them anyway. So yeah. Yeah, so I mean, they're giving it for free for free anyway, so. Was that the level? <laughs> that was pretty easy. Anyway, um, yeah, continue. 
they're pretty simple to use. Um, quick thing, you can... Oh. Oh, pinatas. Oh, they want to want us to buy a pinata. But basically, it's just going to give us more gold money, uh, pea shooter, and oh, double sunflower. Twin sunflower, which we haven't unlocked yet. But other than that, basically, uh, what I was going to say is that you can watch ads to get free, free uh, gems and stuff. So if I watch this ad. Alright, so the ad's over and you get three gems, so I mean it's not bad and you can watch it like three or four times and then it like takes a day or so to reload. Um, there's also play events down here. Swap your way to better worlds in the <sighs> big old beyond even. Anyway, so you can get uh, different stuff. Anyway. Um, that's going to be it for this episode. Anyway, hope you guys all enjoy this episode of Lots for Zombies 2, and I'll see you guys all later.